Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're gonna be talking about how to use the JC Group Feather procedure to make a feather coat. JC Group Feather procedure is on the JC Feather shelf. Click this button. Now we have a, a JC Group Feather UI. This procedure is used to scatter particles on nerve surface and uh, poly mesh, and you can also replace the particles. Uh, with uh, geometry. So let's start. First, I will create a nerve plane. Select this nerve plane, click the ground pick button, and switch the tab to find the position. <coughs> now, click this button, view group position with the particle. Now we have a particle grid. And uh, now we are in UV grow mode. In this mode, we have those parameters. U number and V number mean um, U number means the density in U direction, and this means the density in the V direction. Random translation means uh, each particle will be moved randomly along this distance, and uh, translation frequency means the random frequency. U break and V break means uh, if we check this on, we will have a break effect along the U direction and the V direction. Okay, now I will click this button again. First, delete. Click. Now we have a particle grid which has a break effect in the U direction. And uh, delete the particle. I can also add some random click again okay now we have a uh, we have some particles scattered randomly scattered on the nerve surface and then i can also scatter particles on mesh poly mesh okay select uh, the poly mesh set the subdivision 10 10 select uh, the poly plane and uh, click the pick button now click the view group position with particle okay now we have uh, particles uh, scattered on the poly mesh because this poly plane has a uv set and uh, if work if we work with the poly mesh we can also use poly area mode this in this mode the particles will be scattered on the poly face based on the face area this means uh, a larger poly face we have more particles uh, and a smaller face we have uh, fewer particles so I will duplicate uh, this polyplane okay select uh, pick now I will give this exact number 400 click okay now we have uh, lots of particles and I can also change the feather radius okay now we have those particles okay now I will show you how to scatter geometries on the nerve surface or the polyplane okay delete those particles first I will create a feather template a simple polyplane select the polyplane pick select the nerve plane pick and uh, I will draw two curves Select those two curves, click pick. Now I want to scatter geometries in UV mode. So click the grow button. Now we have uh, lots of geometries uh, scattered on the nerve plane, and each 
each geometry grows in the direction of the of their closest curve. And um, we also have the interpolate tab. In this tab, we have those parameters. Those parameters are used to find the closest uh, direction for each feather mesh. They will, the feather will grow along the closest uh, curves. And uh, we also have a random tab. In this tab, we can rotate and scale each feather mesh. Now, I will set this attribute to maybe 30 and uh, open the update get and uh, click the update. Okay, now our feathers rotate along the Z pervert up 30 degree. Okay, open the outliner, select the feather group. I can also assign random color to those feathers. Okay, now we have we can see them clearly. And I can also add some random rotation, maybe 15. Click the update. Okay. I will give it a little bit a little bit smaller three maybe update and I can also skew them maybe two click okay we have a wider feather mesh we can give it one we can also skew random random scale 0 0.5 point 0.5 point 0.5 click update okay now we have uh, those random skewed feather mesh okay delete those mesh and uh, I can also draw some new curves. Select uh, those two curves and click the get curves. Select this this polyplane and click pick. Switch to find the position. In th this time, I will place some particles uh, manually. So, something like this. We have uh, some particles uh, and switch the grow mode to point. And uh, switch to selection mode to particle. Select those particles and click the use selected points to grow okay now click the grow button okay now we have uh, we have new feather meshes uh, exactly at the particle position and switch to f random tab zero set this those attributes zero update again okay now we have uh, those feathers okay in next lesson we will talk more talk about multitudes uh, about this procedure see you next lesson